Three years ago, they voted to keep it in the Capitol, but the calls for change persisted. And now a state commission has voted to remove the controversial bust of Nathan Bedford Forrest. But as News Channel 5's Kyle Horan learned, an amendment was added last minute that some have issues with. Sorry. Motion passes. This was the response when the State Capitol Commission voted to remove Nathan Bedford Forrest's bus from the State Capitol. The thunderous cheering comes after years of protests, after the push failed three years ago, after many protesters were arrested while asking for it to be torn down. In the meeting today, both sides were heard, the governor calling for the bus to be removed. I believe that that is the right path for our state based on uh, this desire that I have to do the right thing for every single Tennessean. People who wanted the bus removed say Forrest's controversial history is the first Grand Wizard of the KKK, that he traded slaves and was a Confederate general did not earn him a place of honor. I could hear the wails and the cries of over 200 surrendered soldiers. Soldiers that had surrendered and were still slaughtered. Others say the bus is history. Forrest's role, as written by some historians, that he slaughtered hundreds of black soldiers after they surrendered at the Battle of Fort Pillow is inaccurate. To me, when I see the statue of Nathan Bedford Forrest, I think of all the, all the soldiers, my, my great-great-grandfathers, that fought for the Confederacy. They fought for their homes. Very few of them owned slaves. In the end, it passed 9-2, to two, but with an amendment that they would remove two other Tennessee military men, the accomplished Union Admiral David Farragut and an admiral from several conflicts after the Civil War and into the 20th century who have busts in the Capitol. As the issue now moves over to the State Historical Commission, if it passes there, Forrest's bus will be moved to the State Museum. Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. Kyle, thank you. The Historical Commission meets tomorrow, but since the motion just passed today, the bust issue will not be on that agenda. If you'd like to read more about the history of this controversy and Nathan Bedford Forrest himself, we have information on our website.